Hi everyone. In this video we are going to discuss about Rupism, different type of visual business objects and one of the core actions of MS Excel. We will know more than 65 actions. First of all, why we go for Blue Prism Visual Business Objects. So instead of going and writing code in Blue Prism code stage, so Blue Prism has come across the new functionalities which is being 4.0 and above that is Visual Business Objects. Previously they have small set of actions of BBOs. After that they implemented big and big more actions so if visual business object is not available then probably we have to write open excel sheet and close excel sheet these type of commands in code stage instead of that so we can drag and drop the business objects we can configure the action values so we can simply move through the code so visual business object is a set of coded functions which are usually written in vb dot dot or c sharp dot dot using blue prism code stage so in vb was internally they are occupied with vb dot dot or c sharp dot dot code blue prism is shipped with a number of visual business objects which provide future rich extended capabilities to your organization in addition to the standard drag and drop features. So where this VBOs will available in your system? It will import from the VBO folder with Blue Prism installed path. You have Blue Prism installed path C colon program files x86 inside the blue prism limited blue prism automate slash bpo this is the area which you have to see where the blue prism bpos are installed or else we have one more file c column program file blue prism limited blue prism automate inside the bpo so how to install bpos installing a visual business object all so you can see we have the option import we have the relevant XAML files when we install the VBOS you have to connect and sign into relevant environment and select import from the file menu this is the option import from the file menu you have to click browse and navigate to the folder to the containing VPO you want to import and select the XAML file. Click through the Blue Prism dialogs to complete the simple installation. Once installed, once you have import and installed your VPOs, it will be available in your Blue Prism action stage. You can see your name is action, visual business object is MS Excel VPO. The action is available for which means create workbook, close workbook, create instance, close workbook, more than 65 action items are available in MS Excel BPO. So here, this video we can see what is the more than 65 MS Excel BPOs. So, MS Excel BPO for interacting Microsoft Excel applications. So what are all the actions? more than 65 action items we can set out using MS Excel video. Create instance. It will create instance for your particular worksheet. It will open instance, the attach, attach option for your Excel sheet. This is the action, remove blank rows. Some of the new actions are added in 6.0, 6.1 Blue Prism features. It will remove blank rows. If you have blank rows, it will remove. It will, second one is attached to workbook. 
it will close instance it will release the memory of your instance exit will help you to close out from your excel application close all instances if you want to close all instances in a single time or else you want to set out events enabled show hide you can create your workbook you can open your workbook you can activate your workbook you can save your workbook you can save current workbook you can save workbook as the work save current workbook will save only your current worksheet but save workbook as you can save xls or xlsx or else xlsb xlsb is a binary workbook so different formats you can save us save current workbook as it will close your workbook it will close your current workbook is read only suppose you have you have the excel sheet which is read only option then you can you want to set out the read only you can set this option so whenever you are opening the, your worksheet you have to activate your worksheet before starting any progresses or data validation or data manipulation you have to do active activate worksheet suppose you want to delete your worksheet you can use delete worksheet if you want to move worksheet from sheet 1 to sheet 2 you can rename and move on it copy and paste worksheet train this is the action which will be used whenever we are, you are copying and pasting some suppose you have sheet 1 you have a range a1 to a20 you are you want to up and into the sheet 2 then you have to set out your range into c2 and copy and paste for c range action will work on it get worksheet as collection here if you want to add worksheet as your collection then probably you can use these four options get worksheet as collection option range as collection if you want to split up your worksheet as a different worksheet names then you can go with split worksheet if you want to get your worksheet name suppose you have 10 or 20 worksheets in your excel workbook if you want to get all the worksheet names you can do it if you have single if you want to get single worksheet you can get worksheet name option get worksheet position where this person which means candle one or two or three worksheet exists if you want to check the particular worksheet is exist or not you can do it get number of rows suppose uh, you you want to append one worksheet to another worksheet in that case you must know about the number of rows which means suppose you are you want to open from 22001 you must know up to 22000 your records has been available so you have to open from 22001 onwards in that case you have to get the last row so this is the option get number of rows usually get number of rows next option is go to cell it will go to the particular cell once the value has been up appended in the particular cell now you want to move into the next cell so that time we can use is go to next cell get active cell suppose you have 22000 rows as in your see it what is the active cell you want to move on next so find next empty cell if you want to get the empty cell you can go with these three go to next empty cell left right up down and set cell values if you want to set some data into the particular suppose your cell value is a2 you want to set 
some values from your application into the excel sheet then you can move with set cell value right collection get cell value get active cell value the reason behind for explaining each and excel bbos is so without knowing the bbos and the actions you doesn't aware how to go with your work which means suppose they given the excel excel activities first you need to know what are the actions available without knowing the actions we can't write the code suppose some actions are not available then we can move with code stage format cell format current cell you can format set window size window location window state so what are the window size and location you can set select delete insert copy cut paste right to clipboard suppose you want to do some ma clipboard manipulation product workbook hide worksheet hide other worksheet and import into csv so these are all the 65 action items in ms excel bbo so this will help us to move all the excel related activities in our course instead of our course stage thanks guys thanks for watching this video